All right. Now we're doing 6Q length of the missing array. This is by user 5036852, and 79% of the people like it. I'm doing this one uh, as a request for, uh, for Matt Vale because he wanted me to uh, take a look at this, see if I could do it. Uh, in this one, we get an array of arrays. If we sort the arrays by their length, we will see that their length values are consecutive. But one array is missing. Pardon me. One, one array is missing. We have to write a method that returns the length of the missing array. So this one has two, this one has four, this one has one, this one has five elements. So we're missing the three elements. And we don't have to return any kind of array filled up, just the length, all right? Uh, if the array of arrays is null, nil, or empty, the method should return zero. When an array in the array is null or empty, the method should return zero too. There will always be a missing element and its length will be always between the given arrays. All right, and we're going to have fun coding, and we're going to vote and rank this kata. All right. So for this one, uh, what we're going to do to start off with is uh, we're going to declare a variable. And we're going to, right here, we're going to say let uh, result equal array, excuse me, array of arrays dot map. Usually I'd go and explain what map is, but this is 6Q, uh, hopefully you know by now. All right, so right now we're going to put E for element, and uh, as far as this goes, uh, we're going to check the length of every one of these arrays. Actually, we're just going to convert every one of these arrays to length. So we're going to say E dot length, just like that. And uh, let's see, let's uh, do a little console.log down here, console.log down here, uh, result. Let's see what this looks like right now. And there we go. One is, so let's put this in a sort order. We're going to use the sort method for that. We're going to say dot sort, and then we're going to have a comma b, a minus b. So it's in uh, ascending order. So let's test it out, see what happens. All right, that looks good right there. So one, two, we already know it's three, but the computer doesn't, but we'll fit, we'll let it, we'll get it to figure it out in just a second. So now we're gonna do a for loop. We're gonna say for, if, excuse me, let i equal uh, zero. So while i is less than, what is it? Result dot length we're going to say i plus plus. All right. And now we're going to say here, um, if, uh, what is it? Result at i plus one does not equal result at i plus one. <laughs> Then we're going to say return result at i plus one. All right, and I'm I'm sure you know what that means. Uh, if if index i plus one uh, doesn't uh, it doesn't equal result i plus one. Okay, and so that's what we're going to return. And let's uh, test it out real quick. All right, it kind of looks good right now. Uh, not good enough because undefined equals zero. So we're just gonna come down here and we're gonna say return zero, if that's not the case. Let's test it out. All right, and it looks good right now. Attempt it. And we've got some edge cases, all right. Uh, cannot read the property of map of null, okay. So for this one, basically we've got to uh, come up here and change this up a little bit. And we're going to have to say uh, if E, what is it? Actually, let's do this right here. If, let's say, array of arrays, if array of array exists or null. Let's see what happens. Test it out. Looks good. Let's attempt it. Still bad. Uh, let's change it to uh, empty array. Let's see what happens if we do that. 
attempt it. All right, so that went away. Cool. Now let's go and uh, take care of this one. This one seems like, uh, what was it? This edge case where an array of arrays null or empty. When an array of the array is null or empty. That's what that one looks like. So we're going to say, based on that one, we're going to say, uh, we can't do it after. we got to do it before the for loop. So we're going to say, if, uh, what is it? If something dot includes if result dot includes zero, like this one here, uh, what we're going to say is return zero. Now let's check it out. Attempt it. Can't read the property of length of null. Okay. So we're going to have to do a uh, ternary operation here, and we're going to say if e exists, we're going to do e dot length, and if it doesn't exist, if it's just an empty array, we're going to say zero, return zero. All right, now let's test it out. All right, let's attempt it, and there we go, awesome. Let's submit it. Ah, oh, that looked like crap. Should have fixed it up a little. Whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, and it pretty much looks just like this uh, best practice here. Uh, really, the only difference is just the names of things. Uh, let's go to mine. Just me on this one. I should have moved this over to here, but what's done is done. You can't change the past, all right? <laughs> so uh, best practice on this one. Very like it, and we'll see you next time.